with gas prices jumping up all over. Mike Aguirre wants the governor well, to declare a state of emergency so he can go after gas station price gougers. We will prosecute. So with gas prices sky high, could anyone defend big oil? We found one, Anita Mangles of Western States Petroleum Association. She defends gas prices and oil company profits. So you're saying that they're, they're not excessive profits in the gas business? Not if you take a look at them in, in a relative context. Hmm, we wonder if she ever went to a gas station to say that. Have you ever stood at a gas station and convincingly told anyone that the gas companies aren't making enough money? You know, all that anyone can do is stand up and state the facts. Well, here's some facts. This spring, Exxon made over $7 billion, and the company has over $30 billion in the bank. Exxon stock jumped to $1.50 yesterday. They're doing pretty well. You're going to say they're not doing well. I'm not saying they're not doing well, but I'm saying that the profit level is not unreasonable. Yes, according to Anita, seven billion's not unreasonable. Seven billion. What's too much profit? Well, I think you would have to ask that question about any industry. Drivers who are getting hit with gas prices that have doubled in a year. So we wanted to know. Have you ever told anyone at a gas pump who paid 60 bucks to fill their tank that there's not enough profit for big oil? It's not about the profitability. It's about the supply and the demand issue. She didn't want to talk much about that $7 billion and who pays for it. So it's okay to take those record profits out of the wallets of Americans? Again, you know, people are paying out of their wallets for fuel that is priced at the market level. We finally wanted to know what she thinks of gas prices and profits. In one word, how would you characterize the profits of big oil? Obscene, outrageous, or just reasonable? Moderate. So gas profits and prices moderate? Even over $3? And a bargain at 350. Yeah, that's the market. John Mattis, Fox 6 News.